From the Cowboys Dance Hall in San Antonio, Texas, you are watching the BBTV recap of the 2018 Buck and Bull Games Road to the Midsummer Finale Tour Stop 2. Buck and Bull Games, where Buck and Bull fans can become stock contractors, embrace the sport, and make big money. BuckandBullGames.com Hi Buck and Bull fans, Jeff Bressler here, welcoming you to Tour Stop 2 of the 10-week road to the Midsummer Finale. When we left things off in Seneca, Missouri a few weeks back, two stock contractors took the spotlight. Through Bulls owned and partnered on Colorado's Brad Days with $16,406, just edged out Washington State apple grower Gary Long for most money out of the pay window. Could we be looking this season at a Chad Burger Tom Teague like rivalry? Let's find out. We buck them for buck kick, spin, intensity, and degree of difficulty. Let's buck some bulls. We'll get things underway with the Boudreau class. These are three year old bulls who compete with the mechanical dummy on their backs that mimic the motion of a bull rider. It's a transitional tool used between Futurity Bull and Rider Bull. Stank Face, owned by UFC head honcho Dana White, got edged out by the Gary Long, Longmire Leap of Faith entry Invincible in Bordertown. Here in San Antone, won money to the Boudreau class winner. Let's see who came out on top. Invincible might have won round one, but in true fighting form, Stank Face comes back in Texas to snag the buckle with a solid 84 and three quarter points. So Stank Face wins $3,000 for Dana White. Next time we see this bull have a rider on his back. Let's move on now to the underdog class. This class is for bulls that have never scored above 84 points. If a bull exceeds the 84 point standard, he moves up into one of the higher Buck and Bull Games classes. Tour stop one, Bad Mama Spot wins for the Janes Gang, moves out of the underdog. 22 start today, pay four deep. Let's look at the top four. Finishing fourth, Jason and Amy Mogg out of Michigan, an exclusive genetics black ninja, an intense little bull, 83 and a half points. Third one to Alaska's David and Laurel Hale entry, mess around, 84 points. Heading to the middle of the arena, getting into a nice pattern and punching his ticket out of the underdog is the Long and Walgren entry, D27, 85 points. And winning the underdog, the Major League Baseball duo of Cleveland Indians Cody Allen and Colorado Rockies Brian Shaw, their bowl topside, 85 and three quarter points. Now time to look at the big three. BBG Certified Bulls, All-In Players Championship, Open Bargain Buckers. Any owner can buck once, use that score, and enter multiple classes if eligible. Let's start with the Open Bulls, 12 entered. They paid two monies. Finishing second, he's explosive out of the chute. He's Gary Long's read between the lines for a big 87 and a quarter points. Winning the class back to back for Gary Long, here with totality for an impressive 88 points. So Gary Long wins both monies, breathing down Brad Bay's back. Totality is also entered in the remaining two classes. Let's see if he can bank the win into an even larger payday. All-in Players Championship class, Totality also entered here. We're off his 88-point buck in the open, finishes second. In Bordertown, King Tut, one tour stop one. Can he make it two in a row? Not to be. How about a group of owners from Chicago? They won the championship in the All-in last year with Tippin' Point. Here in 2018, a nice bull, NTS, stands for never the same, 
for an event high 88 and a quarter points. BBG Certified Bowls, Watertown. It was Brad and Jamie Bay's 6C Buck and Bowls paying debts that won the buckle. Here in San Antonio, 13 went, paying three deep, splitting second and third. The big payday for Gary Long continues as his bull gifted scores 87 points. Gifted on a run, he finished third in the all-in players at Tour Stop 1. On the other end of the 2-3 split is the Brad and Jamie Bay 6C Buck and Bulls. Holy moly, matching the 87-point score. Holy moly, finished second in Bordertown. And the winner, can it be? Yes, totality. Sitting on his 88 points from the open and entered in the certified class, wins with the 88 points to be crowned the champion. One more event, Bull and Rider, Bull score plus Rider time, three seconds or more. Two monies paid, finishing second. Qualified ride for Foster McGraw on the Jason and Amy Mog Bull, 9.9. 84 Bull score plus eight for the qualified ride for a total of 92 points. Winning the buckle, a classic matchup, the highly regarded CBR Bull Fraulein matched with the solid Brandon Parrish equals a qualified ride for eight plus Fraulein's 85 and three quarters for a winning total of 93 and three quarter points. That's it from San Antonio. Some takeaways, $109,600 has been paid out over tour stops one and two. A big apple for Gary Long today. Totality wins both the Open and BBG Certified classes. Bull also finished second in the All-In class. Added up with some other payouts for Long today, and he leaves Texas with $19,830. We discussed the close payout battle between Gary Long and Brad Bays at the start of the show. In the contractor's money battle, Long now leads Bays. $35,861 to $18,356. Plenty of room, though, for other contractors to move on up. We'll see if Bays can battle back against Long at stop three, which will take place at the Buck and Bull Games Ranch in Orchard, Texas, on February the 3rd. There's still time to get in on the action. Visit Buck and Bull Games at buckandbullgames.com or on Facebook. Until the next stop, this has been Jeff Bressler.